Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm finally getting my voice back. I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, so I can start making videos again. And guys, it's spring and it's spring cleaning. And not only am I building out my studio, but that means I have to clean up and I have to get ready for the high and humid area that is Houston. So one of the things that I have to do is I have to prep my tools for high humidity. And probably one of the best ways to do that is to start pulling out the tools, every single one of them, and start inspecting them, cleaning them, and lubricating them. I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, guys, so you can see that I have a junk towel here, and what I do is I, I lubricate them, and I'm just using uh, silicone because I actually find that this works really good without depleting my handles or anything. And you notice that I am giving it kind of a heavy bath, but that's because it's on the towel. What I do is I flip them around, and I kind of move them around on the towel. Nope, this guy here I should have opened up. So notice how all my pliers are opened up. That's a pretty important because you want all the mating surfaces of where the rust usually begins. So I flip them all over, kind of wiggle them around. That cleans off some of the extra oil, but also it kind of rubs some of that oil into some of the pores. Definitely get near the joints of your pliers. Blades of scissors, of course. Clean them up, clean them up. It's that time of the year, guys. And I know that some people probably noticed that when I showed my drawers, uh, these drawers, <laughs> guys, when I showed my drawers, um, some of my pliers had extra rust on them. And yeah, let's see, that one's not that bad. But I like some pretty tools. So that's why we can come over here. And I have this guy here set up with a brass brush. Okay, yep, nice and beautiful. And I have, I have an absolute, a lot of tools. So I'm gonna pull all these tools out, and then uh, when I get them out, uh, the, you'll notice that there's some rust also just sitting on the surface. We wanna get rid of that too. So I'm gonna take the same towel that I'm using to wipe off all the extra, and I'm going to clean all my drawer mats with that same towel. It kind of gives them a little bit of a slippery coat, um, but it works really well. And like I said, even though this is a climate controlled garage, uh, I do still have problems with, you know, humidity. And let's see, the other thing that you want to make sure that you get is your Allens. Allens just tend to rust. And you can see, I have some other things like some machinist squares. You see that there, look at that. It's got a little bit of surface rust. That's a huge no-no. And these ones here, I do keep, actually, uh, I keep those wet, like almost always lubricated. But, um, and your screwdrivers are not so much. You, you have a lot of these are chrome nickel or they're uh, chrome van vanadium. And uh, these don't really rust too much, but still get those, get those tips really well. Pliers are usually some of the worst. And that's because right here, you'll see rust usually likes to form around joints. You see, look at this guy. One of my favorite set of wire strippers right there. I'll probably clean him up with a brush. But guys, every spring, just pull out your tools. And that includes your tool bag. Check your tool bag. You'd be surprised. Surface rust starts forming on things. Hey, I got some cool stuff. These stainless steel pin cutters. Boop. All right, guys. Well, that's part of my thing. I am in the process of building out my studio. I've, I've, I've got to start installing my streaming computer and everything. I got some big stuff planned. I figure while I'm cleaning this out, I'm going to build out my corner over there. And um, I have to get rid of some stuff, man. <laughs> I have to get rid of some stuff. So I got some old medical equipment like that giant HEPA filter over there. Um, that guy's probably going to have to go. Some, some stuff's just got to go, man. Uh, and then I can build this out properly, like move my soldering stuff over and whatnot. Some cool stuff in the, in the works. Uh, streaming computer's going to go up. But it all starts right here with my tools. Got to get these guys taken care of. And then I will press on to the rest of my studio. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm definitely going to have a full day. Uh, I hope y'all are doing good. Um, I'll start making videos again now that I'm starting to get my voice back. Thank goodness. Uh, I've been under the weather lately and very busy with work. So um, I'm going to be on the road coming up this next week. So I might have some cool videos for them too. All right. And some big stuff in the works. I've got some interviews that I'm going to be releasing and some new products to investigate. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff, guys. I have been 
inundated with like requests for people to do ads and stuff. And uh, I would love to help them out because some people have some really cool products and services. And we're going to see uh, very soon. Very soon, all right? Now that I'm back in it, uh, I got to clean up my stuff. Once I clean up, then I can I can start with a refreshed attitude and start producing better content for you guys. All right, thanks for watching.